Let's take a minute to review some of the grips you can take on your syringe as you're trying to access a vessel with a Selinger technique. There's a few of them that are useful. The core concept here is that once you enter the skin with a needle, you need to have continuous aspirating pressure on your syringe. This will tell you as soon as you enter a vessel because you'll get a flash of blood, whether or not you intended to. Now right now, as I exert pressure on the syringe, it's going to open, but when you're actually in the skin, it'll just maintain static pressure because the tip is occluded. So you need a grip that allows you to maintain that continuous pressure while still being maneuverable and ergonomic. So there are two, perhaps three grips that are most useful. One is to hold the plunger with your thumb and middle finger as you press against the flange of the syringe with your index finger, like this. One more time, thumb and middle finger on the plunger, pressing against the syringe with your index. Second one is to press against the flange with your thumb while holding the plunger with perhaps your index and middle finger. One more time, pressing with your thumb, holding with your first two fingers. I find these two grips are useful at different times. If you have a very shallow approach, such as for an IJ, pressing with your thumb I think is most convenient. If you're approaching more acutely, such as for a deeper vessel like a subclavian or a femoral, you may want to press with your index finger because it's much easier to get your hand up here. The final grip that's sometimes useful is an underhand grip. I'll use this to infiltrate lidocaine at a very flat angle. And if you're good at this grip, you can exert aspirating pressure by spreading your hand apart. However, you can also reverse the grip to exert pressure on the plunger and infiltrate lidocaine, all without changing your grip. So you can aspirate, aspirate, inject lidocaine, aspirate, aspirate, and so on. There you have it, three grips to take on your syringe.